personally because this one is all zombies. Zombies has been a big part of what we do here at Treyarch. Uh, all the way back from World at War, BO1, BO2, BO3, and now even BO4. Alpha Omega follows on from the two Ether maps that we've already seen in Black Ops 4. We got to play as the Ultimus crew in Classified, and we got to play as the Primus crew in Blood of the Dead. And those players who managed to finish those two maps will now realize that those two groups of characters have met. And this brings us up to Alpha Omega, where for the first time ever, players are going to be able to play as both the Primus versions and the Ultimus versions. Seeing these two character crews come into one space is going to drive so much of the interaction and how they talk to one another, how they interact with their space. Boy, you talk. I did not say anything. I think you have me mixed up with someone else. And the space is just full uh, of Easter eggs and different kind of nods to different points of the Ether story because they do have an involvement there. So now uh, you're, you're back in Nuketown, but it's not the Nuketown that you've played before. This map is 400% larger than the original map. Uh, that means there's more places to explore, there's, there's more space above ground and below ground. There's additional houses that you got to see on the block before. Now you can go in and explore those houses and see what's in there, what's going on. Nuketown's always been a fun map in the zombie storyline, because while well, originally it was a very small map, it had elements in it that were hinting about something much bigger. Nuketown as a location and that facility is, is such a big part uh, of the, the zombie storyline, specifically the Ether storyline. So much has happened there and so much that we haven't really been able to talk about or tell that story yet. So at Nuketown's Broken Arrow facility, you'll find that there's been some secret weapons research going on. And these weapons are prototype ray guns that were developed at Broken Arrow. We want players to feel the nostalgia of coming back to Nuketown, and we do that with those original spaces. But there's so much more to experience, and now that we've added new features and new mechanics, new enemy types. A couple of them are based on the Nova 6 crawlers that you saw in the Kino der Toten, and they are an evolution of these creatures. There is the Jolting Jack, and there's the Nova 6 bomber. The Jolting Jack is a creature that can teleport around and it can fire electric bolts at you. So I can remember playing zombies for the very first time. I remember playing throughout and thinking, wow, this is, this is really something special that we have here. And then to see it come full circle, now we have an operation in Black Ops 4 that's fully themed for zombies and we're pulling all of this narrative and all of this lore that we've built up over multiple titles, multiple games, and multiple maps. It is super exciting to kind of see that all come to fruition. I think players are really going to enjoy it and get excited by it. You just heard